I know yeah, they have dancers and that dummy grade part two the failed of this, of this evil town is being exposed. So this is a follow-up video to the unalive dancer spirit that came to me um, to expose the details of her own unaliving as well as the corruption in a particular town. She was saying that this town is going down, this town is getting exposed, that there's been an, a, a pattern of abuse of power where the powerful people of this town, those who have money, are exploiting and abusing the people that are impoverished um, in this town. And it's been a pattern for years, decades. I mentioned in the part one as well that there is an active federal investigation because of fraud and because of um, suspected human trafficking rings that are um, plaguing this town. The demonic packs and principalities that have been hiding all the shit that this town has been doing <laughs> are being destroyed, are being taken down. The veil is being lifted. The, the spirit of this dancer is telling me that if they find her body, they will find 10 more. Spirit says, oh God. Sorry guys, Spirit says there are many fallen victims, okay? And I'm hearing dummy graves. Like I exposed in part one, there's literally a cemetery in this town that has empty graves. It appears to be people's graves that are already, um, already there, but I'm telling you, these caskets are empty. And in these graves are where these powerful people are hiding the bodies of their victims. Like I said before, the killer is like a high-ranking official, okay? A governor, a mayor, okay? Um, this is a person that has a lot of power and money. This is a person that has centuries and generations of family that are from the town, that control the town. And this is also a person that is, hmm, this is a person that is a sin eater, okay? This is a person that knows a lot of crap about other people, and they use that, um, information as leverage um, for blackmail, basically to control people. The strip club owner as well is complicit in a lot of the blackmail and um, is paid off very often by the people in this town. The stripper is also telling me that the women that have tried to come out and speak out about the corruption and the abuse that they've experienced in this town, um, what the powerful people do is that they ostracize them, they make them out to be crazy, or in extreme cases, they target and, and unalive their husbands, their sons, and their fathers. And if the men try to speak out, the men just simply disappear in this town. I'm just sitting here, right? Like, it's hard to believe that there's churches and schools in a fucking town like this. The spirit is showing me that this is a town that is operated in out of darkness, okay? This is a town run by a organized corrupt family the spirit is telling me that this is a town that's run by a family that sacrifices the firstborn male child of everyone in that family okay somehow the firstborn male child of everyone in this family never makes it she's telling me that in her last moments she prayed the our father and that the last words on this earth that left her lips was and deliver us from evil amen she says that she wanted to be a pediatric nurse she says that she wanted to be a good mother to her children she says that she wanted to mend and heal the relationship she had with her mother she also had a dog a puppy that she loved she's telling me that she wanted to move her entire family out of this town my spirit says that her spirit was always too big for this town okay and spirit is showing me that song in uh, beauty and the beast when bell is walking through the town and singing there must be something more than this provincial life you feel what i'm saying and that's who she was like she was too big she was too bright her light was just too too illuminous for this dark place and my spirit is is, is impressing upon me like she was the beauty and the beast okay she was that beauty and she was that beast i pray that her spirit has light and progression i pray for the comfort and the peace of her loved ones and most of all <laughs> most of all i pray for the destruction of this town that has created so many victims i pray for the spirits of those who were unalive just to hide the filth of these people to hide the filth of this town 
the spirits of the women that were treated like like true toys, you know, used and abused and discarded and thrown to the side for the sake of sexual satisfaction, for the sake of trafficking, for the sake of money. Yeah, I hope their spirits have vengeance. I hope I captured everything this girl wanted to say. I release her into the light with love, with healing. Let's do better, okay? As a collective, let's do better in protecting women. Let's do better in um, doing what's right. Let's do better in protecting um, sex workers and sexual healers, people that work in adult entertainment industry, okay? And let's do better as a people. Let's hold people accountable for what they're doing. Um, let me tell you something. We are privileged to live in a time where we see God flex his muscles. We are privileged to live in a time where we see giants, okay? Hollywood stars, companies, conglomerates, okay? Um, people that have had positions of power um, off the backs of the innocent, we are privileged to be alive in a time to see those giants fall. And for that, I am grateful. That's all I have. I hope to God that's all I have for today. Love you guys. Like I always say, the strong must protect the sweet. Peace.